What's up guys this is Ablash Thakur and welcome back to Sailor's Guide well today's topic is all about mooring station mooring configuration and I'm going to explain all of it in this video uh, well if you have less time you can watch this video on 1.25 speed or 1.5x speed but please watch it full videos for the full knowledge so let's get started Today we are in Italy, uh, La Spezia, and it's a beautiful, beautiful morning here. So let me show you uh, how it looks like here. Well, you can see that a uh, beautiful, beautiful town there, right across the sea. And here is a passenger vessel of MSC. That's a big one. And look how beautiful it is. It's a beautiful houses, and it's amazing. All right, guys. So let's start with the today's topic. It's about a mooring station, as you seen on the YouTube thumbnail. Okay, so uh, right now I'm in the forward and uh, we will start uh, with the headlines first. Okay, so I'm going to show you now. Okay guys, these are the headlines. So we have passed the four headlines in this port. Lines has uh, passed through the multi fairly roller. And uh, these roller rotate so that rope can move swiftly. Okay, and this ropes has made fast on that bollard which is uh, on the jetty right now. So uh, headlines usually go with the larger angle with the ship. And headlines are for restricting the movements and keeping the vessel alongside, keeping the forward part of the vessel alongside. Okay, so at the, at the aft station, it's similar. The stern lines keep the stern inside, and here you can see the two lines which are going this like this are the spring lines. These are the spring lines here, and they are gone with a shorter angle with the vessel, which is going behind. I will show you and you cannot see from here I just hold on I'll try to show it where they have put these uh, ropes on the pollard on the jetty okay. here you can see they have put it on the pollard they have come like this spring lines are uh, with the shorter angle with the ship sides the, so the forward springs are used to restrict the ahead movement of the ship okay so the headlines will keep the vessel alongside and the springs will restrict the ahead movement so the vessel do not move ahead okay so both uh, the, the ropes have a different uh, purposes and similarly or it is on the aft station the stern line are used to keep the vessel inside the stern inside basically and the sp spring lines which will be not like this like in the forward it will be ahead okay so they will restrict the stern movement that's it Arrangement is known as the 4 plus 2 arrangement as we have passed 4 headlines and 2 spring lines. We always count this mooring configuration with clockwise. Like this you can say we have passed 4 headlines. Uh, if we pass 1 breast line then it will be 4 plus 1 or maybe 2 whatever it is. And this is 4 plus 2. Okay. So we have passed 4 headlines and it is 2. So uh, always you say that is it is a 4 plus 2. You don't say 2 plus 4, it can be misunderstood, so you always count the headlines first. Same on the aft station, you uh, count the stern lines first. You can say that it is 4 plus 2, there's 4 stern lines and 2 spring lines. If there is a breast line, breast line means a line which uh, is perpendicular to the ship side. Uh, that uh, will be counted after the headline or uh, similarly in the stern line, it will be counted after the stern line. Okay, so, uh, there are few deck fittings you must need to know that what is the terminology terminology we use to define that that this uh, thing which here you see it is known as the panama lead okay so usually the tugs line or the line which are loose ropes we pass through this one and uh, uh, it is a very strongly welded on the deck and they have a usually the safe working load here which is engraved on it uh, 952 kilonewtons so it's a very very strong point so when the tug pulls uh, through it so nothing gets bent it's a very strong point where the tug can be made fast okay so the tug lines always comes through it okay we it comes through it and it made fast on the this is known as the bit the bit or bollard whatever you can say it it is normally as uh, considered as bits it is also had a has a, this is safe working load that is of 84 tons you make fast the low loose ropes here or the tucks and here uh, you can see the roller here we say it as an old man okay 
as you all guys know this is uh, windlass for anchor okay for starboard side anchor the same on the other side one windlass is there for the port side and this is winch from where the rope is coming out okay so there is winch it has split drum it has true drums another one is for the tension drum one is for the storage drum this is known as a storage drum this is known as a tension drum where the actual ropes uh, when when we tighten up the ropes we put the ropes over here so that uh, it doesn't get stuck inside okay otherwise if uh, we take weight on this side so maybe the rope will go inside as it takes more and more weight so this is the tension drum is used for that purposes okay this is known as the warping drum okay this part is used to pick up the tugs line or maybe it can be used uh, when you uh, make fast the loose rope or when you pass the loose rope it pick those you have to pick that uh, rope through this uh, warping drum okay so it will come through this uh, bollard and it will come over over this uh, warping drum okay it will come through this bollard from that lead or maybe panama lead wherever it comes from it has to come over this warping drum and has to pick it up okay so that uh, that is the only way to tighten up that loose rope okay and uh, also uh, when the tug has to be picked up the tug's line has to be picked up it has to be picked up through warping drum because sometimes it's very heavy it cannot be pulled by hand so warping drum is very helpful in that way okay uh, here you can see the winch arrangement this is known as the gear as you know in the cars or motorbikes you need to engage the gear to make it moving okay to make it moving you need to engage the gear here is the same thing you need to engage this gear this thing which you see you have to align this over here with this space and you engage the gear by pulling this bar okay so i'll just show you how it is done okay so i have uh, started the uh, hydraulic pump here and uh, i will show you that uh, how to engage this uh, gear into that slot so we have to move it a little bit so that uh, it can be aligned so we will move it from here the handle okay here it is easier you can see it is already aligned so i'll show you here only so you can just pull this bar this side and see that gear has been engaged okay but to move this uh, to put the weight on the gear you have to loosen up the brake so this is the screw which is uh, connected to the brake of the windlass this is the brake part all of it you can see here it is connected this is the part of the winch and this is the part of the brake it is all over it and you have to loosen it up with this screw you have to rotate it anti clockwise see all the weight has come up to this gear now so now you can rotate this see the rope is getting tight enough Similarly, when you have to, when you have tighten up the rope, you have to tighten up the brake. You have to rotate it clockwise. All right, and then you have to. Uh, the weight has come up to the brake now. You have to move that uh, the gear part a little bit. Move it in the anti. Uh, to move it in the opposite direction now. and you can just disengage it always put this pin after use so that it doesn't go accidentally inside okay so this is how you engage and disengage the gear from the winches okay let's say it's not aligned up let's say it's like this i'll just give you an example it maybe it's like this so you can just pull this lever align this with that slot you can see yeah that is not aligned yet and now it is aligned so now you just pull the bar again remove the pin pull the bar and it is engaged similarly disengage because the weight is on the brake so you can disengage directly otherwise if you have uh, engaged it loosen up the brake tighten up the rope you have to again tighten up the brake put the weight on the brake and it disengage it later on okay so that's how you do it 
Okay, the another part is when you move this thing, the warping dr drums also rotates. So when you pick up the loose rope or uh, the tugs line, you have to disengage this winch like this is disengaged now. And uh, you pull that lever, so only the warping drum will rotate, not this winch, okay? So that is the thing you have to do before picking up the tugs line. You have to disengage the gear from the winch. Okay guys, so this is the forward mooring station. We'll just move to the aft. I'll just take you there. Let's go. Okay, so finally we are here. It's a long ship, so <laughs> It's take a little time to reach here. I have to time lapse the video. Okay, anyway, so we have a two ropes here on the stern lines, two ropes here. It is total four stern lines here, and two on that drum. We have a spring lines. As you can see, two stern lines here, two here, and two spring lines. As uh, I have shown in the forward station, the spring lines, the forward spring line goes in the aft direction, but here on the aft station. It goes in the forward direction to restrict the aft moment of the vessel. Okay, I'll just show you here. Here you can see. All right, guys. So I have uh, shown you the mooring stations, and uh, I'll show you the configuration on the paper right now so that you can easily understand it. Okay, let's get started. All right, guys. So you can see it here on the paper. I have drawn a rough diagram of the mooring uh, configuration. Here are the four headlines which we, I have shown you in the video earlier. One, two, three, and four. These are the headlines. This is uh, this was not there. That is the breast line. This was there. Spring lines, spring lines forward, spring line aft, breast line, and the stern line. Okay. So here you can see if you see the headlines here. If you tighten up this rope, yeah. it will just drag the forward part of the vessel towards the jetty let's say it's a jetty here so uh, the headlines will drag the uh, forward part of the ship will inside what it will does that if you tighten up the headlines this head part the forward part this the forward part of the vessel will move towards the jetty and it will keep it alongside the forward part okay here the spring lines which are from the forward they are they come towards the aft if the vessel is moving ahead these spring lines will actually resist the ahead movement of the vessel so and here in the aft the spring lines are going forward it means if the vessel is moving aft the spring lines will hold it okay and here the stern lines as it, the forward the headlines will drag the vessel forward part towards the jetty the stern line does the same it drags the stern part of the ship towards the jetty every force which can create the moment of the vessel is has been countered by these all lines spring lines and the headline and the stern lines okay so please remember this i think this must be uh, this is much easier to understand and one more thing the headlines have a larger angle the ship side the ship side is like this you can see it is a larger angle okay the spring lines have shorter angle here the same thing here on the aft also spring lines have shorter angles whereas the stern lines have larger angle with the ship side but the breast line is almost the perpendicular that's how you recognize the lines the red headlines are like this breast line 90 degrees spring lines going aft having shorter angles in the aft spring line going forward shorter angles stern lines have the larger angle breast line almost 90 degrees okay so that's how you can identify the lines and uh, you have to say the configuration here 4 plus 1 plus 2 why because one is breast line here if the breast line is not there then you can just simply say it that it is a 4 plus 2 configuration 4 means four stern lines two spring lines as in the forward also four headlines and 
to spring lines all right guys so i hope you like this video if you like this video please uh, press the like button and subscribe my channel i'm going to put more and more content and uh, if you find any doubts or you have any questions regarding the merchant navy please put it in the comment section so that i can make a uh, video this is abhilash thakur signing off